Animating transform channels of items in Moto is, of course, incredibly simple. All I have to do is select the item, and in the Animate tab, I have these handy-dandy key, position, rotation, and scale buttons. So I'm going to key the position, scrub forward, and make whatever position change I want to make. In this case, we'll just drag it forward on the Z-axis. Now, if I scrub in the timeline, we have an animation. It is that easy, folks. We uh, are animating. But I want to take this to the next level, so let's undo all of that. Go back to the very beginning, and let's do this in a slightly different way. It's going to give us a lot more downstream power. First, we need to create what's called an actor. So I'm going to select this item, and we're going to make that into an actor. Let's head down to Actors, Create New Actor. We'll name it Car from selected items and hit OK. Now we can head down and assign onion skinning. We'll set steps in to 3, steps out to 3 as well. And now we can create an action. So let's create an action called roll forward and hit OK. And in this action we can do the exact same steps that we did before. We'll select our item, we'll key the position channels, scrub forward, and make our change. Now, when I scrub back and forward, we're going to see uh, our onion skinning appearing. We've got three steps in either direction, showing us how fast our object is moving in any given direction, which is really nice to have. But also, because we've created this inside of an action, it's very easy to make multiple variants of that action to show our director, for example. So, let's show our graph editor by clicking this button at the bottom right side of the Animate tab. And you'll see that we now have a z-axis acceleration curve showing us just how our object is moving on that axis. And we can drag the Bezier handles here to really tightly control how this object moves over time. Now let's say we want to create a variant of this. It's very similar, but very slightly different. So a good way to do that would be to duplicate the current action. So let's head to Actions, Duplicate, and we'll call this Roll Forward V2. And then I'm going to make sure to make that active when we click OK. So now we're currently in Roll Forward V2 because we made that active. And if we scroll back and forth, we still have that same exact motion. If I select the item, now I can change its acceleration. And I'm going to change it pretty drastically just to make it pretty obvious that this is very different. You see that we're starting off slow and getting faster and faster. And that's all well and good. And now I can go back to my actions and look at Roll Forward, the original see what that looks like, play it for my director, and go down and do Roll Forward V2, and try that as well. Very powerful way to work, and not that much more complicated than working with typical animations.